Community Beer Company today on Texas Brew Crafters. Hey. Good, uh, good afternoon. It's raining outside. Yes. And it's kind of crowded in here. Good, for, a good amount of lightning out there. Yeah, for a Wednesday at five o'clock, which is when we got here. Well, we got here about 5.15. 5.15. Uh, this is your first time to join us, click on the subscribe button below to keep up with all the craft breweries that we catalog on this channel in the state of Texas. It's going to take us forever to do it, but we're going to have fun. It's a great challenge. It's a great challenge. So Community Beer Company is one of the staples of the city of Dallas. Uh, if you've ever been to a restaurant in the area, you've probably at least seen, if not had, their Mosaic IPA. It's one of their famous ones. Or maybe their Wit Beer. The wit beer. They're we're gonna we're gonna sample the wit beer today. Mm -hmm. I don't think either one of us want to do the IPA. They've no. got a lot. Of, they've got a good selection here. Yeah. So we're about to do a flight of beers. Uh, I'm gonna do five, and he's gonna do five. And I think only one of them intersected, right? Yep, the last okay. one. So we intersected one. So you're gonna get to see that in just a second. And uh, if you're ever in uh, the Dallas area, up and down I-35E, you're gonna want to check out Community Beer Company. If um, if you're going brewery hopping, it's one uh, that I highly recommend. So here it is. Community Beer Company will be hosting its six-year anniversary on January 19th, 2019. The event will start at noon on Saturday and go till 6.30 p.m., and it will be held at their main location of 1530 Inspiration Drive in Dallas, Texas. During the event, they plan to have more than 60 beers on draft, located in three different sections, both inside the tap room, inside the brewery, and in an outside tent. There'll be... Live music, a photo booth, awesome local food trucks, and some commemorative special edition glassware and t-shirts. Lots of local artists and craft vendors will also be in attendance. This event is surely to be one of the largest of the year, so book your tickets now by going to communitybeer.com. Hope to see you there. Once again, we are at Community Beer Company, and it's raining outside. It is. A lot. Yeah. Just, they just opened like a half hour ago, maybe 45 minutes now, and the place is already full, full, filled, full, because, I mean, why not? It's pouring rain outside. What I else know. are you going to do? <laughs> Sit at the house and watch Netflix. Right. It sounds like a good idea to get out and try some beer. That's right. So, Community is one of the, as I said before, one of the staples of the Dallas area. If you've been to a restaurant that has craft beer, uh, from local craft beer, you've probably at least seen the Community Mosaic, which is their most famous one, the IPA. Did you get that one? The Mosaic? The Mosaic. I got the Mosaic Lager. The Mosaic. That one's new. There's They've a had new the Mosaic one. IPA, the one on the top left over no, there. No, I did not They've get the... They've had the Mosaic IPA for a long time. That's, yeah. their, that's their most famous beer. Uh-huh. She said the Wit Beer, which I've got right here, is their either their second or third most famous. The Wit Beer? Yeah, this one. I did get Public Enemy number one. I got that one too. That yeah, one's right here. Yeah, that looked very interesting. I, I, they aged in, uh, what barrel was it? A English ale. English ale barrels. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's good. I've had it before. Yeah, so. I'm looking forward to that. So this one is the Whit Beer, and it is a tart wheat ale with 5.0% ABV. It is definitely tart. Well, mm -hmm. The nose is more tart than the taste. Okay. So, it's good though. This is this is a good, smooth, not heavy, middle of the road beer. What I would call. Okay. It's not. It's not. It's not heavy. It's not hoppy, but it's not a light beer either. Mm -hmm. What do you got? My first one up on the bat is Texas Lager. Going after my own heart, I had to get the one that had Texas they in it. They had Texas in it. Yeah, of come course. on. Of Represent. <laughs> These chairs are too high for this table. <laughs> that is a light lager, they described it as. Yeah. And it's 4.0. 4.0, .0. Yeah. okay. Um, it's a pretty good lager, a light lager, smooth. That's probably what they serve to people if they come in and they say, I, I like Coors Light, what do you have? Exactly. Yeah. Instead of giving them water. Right, exactly. It's, um, it's pretty good, but yeah. Good. What's, what's next? This, on your one, this one is called Hell is Yeah. H-E-L-L-E-S, yeah. They have another one called Texas Hellas. This uh -huh. one's Hell is Yeah. 
and it's a German style lager with 5.0 ABV. I was eyeing that one. Yeah. I heard you I like, got it, so I, like I, German I passed. A little bit more hops and bitter bitterness mm -hmm, mm -hmm. than the wit beer, but still very light and smooth. That one's good. Next up on my list, I got, yes, what was that? Yes, sir. A yes, pale, sir. Oh, yeah, ale. pale ale. Yeah. And it is, on my notes, a 5.2 alcohol by content. 5.2. What do you think? Hoppy and a little prickly pear-ish. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. It is hoppy, but it is a, a pale ale. So other than that, but the prickly pear was nice. Are you updating tapped in? Yeah. Untapped already? Untapped. Yeah. yeah. Already checked into the whip beer. So Draft City, level 21. Wow. You need to catch up. This is the <laughs> Snickerdoodle. <laughs> I downloaded the app already. I know. I know. Good. Are we sponsored by them? We should be. No, we should be. Yeah. I might reach out to them. That's yeah. a great idea. Yeah. We mention them every podcast. Go ahead. This is their Snickerdoodle, which okay. is their seasonal Christmas beer. Uh -huh. Today is the day after Christmas, so we're going to date the video. It probably won't this video bit. probably won't post for another week, week and a half. Uh-huh. Something like that. Um, by the time you see this video, you will have seen our outfit brewing video we did two days before Christmas. Oh yeah, so, yeah. So that one's a good one too. But this is a Snickerdoodle Ale. They call it an English style ale with 5.0 ABV. Oh gosh, hints of spices and cinnamon. Really? Cinnamon spice, very right. light, not hoppy, not bitter, but very cinnamon spice-like. It feels like you come here often and you know which ones to pick out. <laughs> I've been here a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got one of their pilot batches next, okay. the uh, Mosaic Lager. That's the Mosaic Lager right there. Now, they don't have any alcohol power volume <laughs> or notes, so... They probably haven't tested it yet. That's a smooth lager. Is it, how, how does it compare to the Texas Lager? I like this more than the Texas Lager. How it's come? a little bit more richer. It's a, a, so a little bit more full body. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So um, if you want to graduate from the light beers, yes, this will be the it's next a, best stepping it's, stone it's, for it's you. It's a stepping stone up from yes. where it was. Okay, good. Good deal. Now this one's going to be my favorite because it is their Imperial Stout. Uh -huh. Russian Imperial Stout. It's called their Legion. They have one that's a barrel aged that we obviously missed because it's up there on the wall. We both asked for it and they said they did oh. it earlier. <laughs> he said he pulled no. it. No. So maybe at their anniversary party next month. Yep, yep. But this is a 9.9 .9 ABV mm -hmm. Russian Imperial Stout. Oh yeah, that's good. Maybe a, maybe kind of like a bitter cocoa taste, just slightly bitter cocoa. Mm -hmm. No cream, no vanilla, nothing like that. It's just a good imperial stout. Oh, okay. We got two on your list I want to go back and try here. Right. <laughs> yeah. Next one on my list is Passiflora. Passiflora, yeah. Passiflora. Now that's the one my wife likes. That's what she's drinking over there. Yeah, it's a white uh, I IPA. White IPA. What is a white IPA, do you know? No, we can ask him. Well then, uh -huh. sounds like a great topic for another video. Right, exactly. So what is a white IPA? It's a little sweet. Yeah. You taste a little bit of hoppiness, but... Um, I think they're similar to that milkshake IPA that Turning Point has. Uh -huh. They had a milkshake, what they call a milkshake IPA. It was a key lime. Mm -hmm. uh, they called it... Um, I can't remember the name of it right now, but it was a key lime pie for Thanksgiving themed beers. Mm -hmm. that, that the episode that I did a few back, I'll put that episode right up here on this corner, and uh, you'll you'll see a card. You'll see a card I'm on the video for the for the Turning Point Brewing in Bedford. You'll see a card right there. Uh -huh. But they had a white, they had a, a key lime, key lime pie style white IP, milkshake IPA, and it was sweet, not hoppy, and mm -hmm. it was just kind of it's That's really pretty good. much how I describe this: a good entry level IPA. Yeah. Um, the hoppiness is there but it's not overpowering it's a little just to let you know hey it's still an ipa good 
that's the kind of IPA that I actually Oops. like. Once again, untapped, T Texas Brew Crafters. What's your What's your handle? You gonna, yes. You gonna, you, you're gonna tell the you don't want to tell the audience, so huh? no. You gotta tell me afterwards, though, so I can. I forgot you. it. You, yeah, you forgot <laughs> it. Okay, the last one is the Public Enemy. I go ahead and taste this one too because we've got the, the same, same one. And that yeah. one's called a barrel aged English ale with uh, tart cherries. With tart cherries. And it's a nine point six. Nine point six ABV. Yep. This one's good. I've had it. As I hit the mic with the drink. Oh, I'm you hit it? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> the nose of the cherries comes across. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's in the drink pretty well. And it is tart, but not overly so. No one saw that. What did you do, spill? Oh, you did spill. No one saw that. Party foul. <laughs> so. It's, it's smooth. I, I don't really, do, I want to describe it now as tart cherries, but. I bet if you were to take a couple swigs of water after, because you've tasted four beers before that one, right? Maybe, do you, so we start doing that, have a cleanser? That's not a bad idea. Some ginger? Some ginger, yeah. <laughs> Eating sushi. Yep. Next idea for the podcast. Uh, that's right. Community Beer Company, right on the service road of uh, southbound I-35 in Dallas, is at 1530 Inspiration Drive, suite number 200. Once you exit... You're coming south on 35, you take the exit for Highline Road, you go through a couple of stoplights, it's on the right hand side, they got a big sign out front, you can't miss it. Didn't look hard to get here. It's not hard except for the construction. Well, I, I was a passenger in the back seat, so it felt easy to me. Well, yeah, to you it would. <laughs> so, thanks for watching guys. Once again, if you have a brewery that uh, you're associated with or somehow involved in or just interested in seeing on this channel, and it's in the state of Texas, we want to we want to come out there and put a video together for it. Mm -hmm. So put a comment, put in the comments below what brewery you'd like us to come to next. Uh, thanks for watching. Adios. Adios.